Hey guys, it's Carolina from 30 Minute Crafts and I'm here with my son, Mr. Junior Crafter, who uh, wants to share how to make these fun charms using Mod Melts. Hi! We're using a Mod Podge Mod Melter today and we decided that since we had an extra one, what are we going to do with it? We're going to give it to, away to uh, comments. Yep, so someone who in the comments will get to win this Mod Melter and we'll send this off to you. Okay, so what do we need for our project? We need uh, a glue stick. So these are the Mod Podge Mod Melts and they come in white. Do you know why they're in white? No. The white ones you can either make white designs or you can paint over the white and make it any color you want. Mm. Yes. Or they come in different colors or they come in the kind we're using today which is glitter. What kind of glitter are we using today? Gold. Gold glitter. Okay, so we have one in our mod, mod melter and we've turned it on and that's actually one of the cool things about this machine is it actually has an on off switch so you don't have to unplug it and replug it in each time you want to use it. And then we have our silicone mold and there's lots of different silicone molds. This one is birds and this one is flowers but we decided we're going to use the sea life one and my son wants to use the sand dollar, right? Mm -hmm. And then we've got some little jump rings, and the jump rings are so we can turn this into a charm for a necklace, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and grab the mod melter, make sure not to touch any of the hot parts, and start putting the mod melts right in the middle and moving it around. So now we have this pretty full. We're gonna take the jump ring, we're gonna have an adult do this part because it's getting pretty close to hot things here. And we're actually gonna put this jump ring over, there's a little notch right there. We're actually gonna put it over there, I think that's a great spot for it. So and then here's the magical part. Nope, we don't need some more, because remember, oh. we take an extra silicone mold and we put it on top and we just push it flat and this gives us a really nice, pretty, flat back. And now comes the hard part, what do we have to do now? Wait. Now we wait. We are back. All right, so you think it's done? Yep. Let's take it off carefully. Oh, nope. It's not done? Nope. Not even close. All right, let's show. I would like to show you the one we made before. It's got a little bit of blue in it because when we were making it, there was already a blue in it. Yeah, there was a blue stick and we were letting that blue stick run out and it was mostly out and so it had a little blue in it. But I think that actually makes it look cool with like the blue swirls, right? Kind of. Yeah. Okay, so it is done now. And now let's. Oh, it's pretty. It's is pretty it hot. Warm? Yeah, it's warm, but okay. it's not too hot. Well, taking that part off is going to help it cool faster. Yeah. Also, we can go like this and wave it around. Hopefully, it doesn't go at my face. I wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> okay, let's try and take it off. Okay, that looks pretty good. I right, put it down here so that everyone can see. All right, but look, there's all this stuff around it. What do we do about that? Cut it off. We cut it off, so. This is also the second one, again. That was the first one we made, and this is the second one. So why does this one look different than that one? Because there was blue in this one, uh, because we were trying to get the blue out, but there was still a little bit more in it when we uh, did it, so. Yeah, we had one a color stick like this, a blue color stick in before, and that blue, stays in a little bit, but I think that makes it look cool. It's got like some cool blue swirls swirls in it, yeah. Oh, that part's kind of see-through. That's cool though, right? Sort of. What do you think? I think it looks cool. I think it looks awesome. So now we can just add a necklace chain to it and somebody could wear that. So are you going to keep this one or give it to a friend? What do you think? Give it to a friend, I think. That's awesome. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Ah. Well, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. As and, a sub and subscribe. And subscribe. And if you comment, you might win this. We'll be picking a winner in a week. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. I think it was one of her best videos so far.